Hey, everybody, Lynette, prepping on a budget. You know, I hate it when I mess up stuff, especially when I mess up something of somebody else's. So, I was out Target shooting, and um, I messed up the... Oh, the man that has the field behind us messed up his barbed wire fence. So, I guess um, time to go fix it. <laughs> at least try to fix it. And then I'll try to find him and at least offer to have it fixed correctly. I'm going to try to put it together with this small wire temporarily fix it or mend it rather so I'll show you what I did to it um, my target range or shooting range rather is just right here in the backyard this is the barrel that I typically just put my uh, targets on and shoot at it I'm going to show you something too these little pepper sprays here that's what the judge did a friend of mine has one we were shooting it the other day and shells out of it, and that's what it did all over the barrel. So anyway, over here to the fence, oh, that happened a while back. I kind of mended it there, hold it together at least. And then earlier today, of course, I hit the middle wire, snapped it right in two. So I'm going to try to put this little bit of wire, sort of bring it together, tie it off at least. They haven't been pasturing the cows back here in a while, but um, he was checking the fence line earlier, so I guess they're going to start pasturing them, so I need to, uh, at least try. It's not like you would never figure out who did it, plus I wouldn't do that to him, but <laughs> with the barrel sitting there, all shot up, he's going to say, oh yeah, prepping on a budget, she's the one that shot the fence up. There's the craziest member of the family. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I mended it somewhat. It's still kind of loosey-goosey, but it'll hold for now. I'll go find my neighbor and tell him that uh, yeah, we'll get it fixed for him the right way. At least it's up off the ground now. It's a beautiful day out here today. A little bit windy, as you can tell. I told you she was the craziest one. <laughs> all right, guys. Just always keep your neighbors in mind and always, always pay attention to what is behind your target. Paying attention to my own advice, I think I want to move my practicing, a uh, little practicing range over to this side of the property. At least put some, put some distance, or I mean put some brush between me and the barbed wire fence so I can quit hitting it. I think this will be better over here anyway. Kind of downhill plus the land rises on the other side, so there's nothing. Well, there's nothing on the other side anyway, but it'll get me more away from tearing something up. I think this is going to work out so much better. It's kind of shooting downhill all the time, though. But you got to do what you got to got to do with what you got, I guess. So I can put some targets up here, use the barrel still still for the other target. I don't know. A little bit of work, a little bit of cleaning out. Hope my chickens aren't around here anywhere when I start practicing. They are bad about coming to this part of the yard, but um, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know. Kind of watch the developments here of my little shooting lane. <laughs> Can't really call it a range, can I? It's just on the other side of the property. And I got a little bit of uh, protection between me and that darn fence back there, so that'll be good. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.